This is News You Can Use. Unprecedented was named the People's Choice 2020 Word of the Year by Dictionary.com. 2021 continued the trend, especially in housing and the housing finance industry. Increases in home prices rose at unprecedented levels. Multiple offers, bids past list prices, accelerators, no contingencies, all unprecedented, and you experienced all of it, and so did we. For sellers and their listing agents, it was a party that some hoped would never end. Well, just like the morning after an especially robust evening of celebration, there's often a little bit of a hangover. Today's news seems to indicate that we might just be experiencing a housing hangover as well. Home prices have not only stopped increasing, but last month they had their biggest one month decline ever, June of 2022. The annual rate of price appreciation, it fell two percentage points from last year, 19.3, that was in May, to 17.3. That's right, the 2% decline in one month represents the biggest drop in prices ever from month to month, and it still represents a year over year increase of 17.3%. We'll unpack this data further, but it is but one more example that you have to dig into the news deeper than just the headlines. Here's our view at Supreme. Demographics and employment combined with interest rates, well, they're the three largest forces that drive the housing market. Yes, the price of the home matters and the price of money matters, but there's a reason that I listed demographics first. You see, people need a roof over their heads. It's one of the basic fundamental needs for humans, shelter. There's only two ways to get it. You can rent a roof or you can buy a roof. Here's some good news for you and for me. People are still moving south and they still need a roof. Have you ever heard of someone working their entire life in Florida or Georgia or the Carolinas and then deciding, well, to retire in Detroit? It just doesn't happen. Every day, people choose to move into our region from all over the country. Why? Better weather, lower taxes, better employment opportunities. Did I mention better weather, especially in the fall and winter? The second thing I listed in terms of what drives housing is employment. You see, in the mortgage business, there's a term called ATR, ability to repay. Unlike the run-up to the great housing collapse and great recession, mortgage customers today need to demonstrate that they actually have the ability to pay back their mortgage. And they do it with a job. Good news. We're at 3.6% unemployment rate. Check the box. Demographics are in our favor and employment and the employment market is also very favorable. Let's move on to interest rates. We began 2022 with our economy running hot, reaching an unprecedented 9.1% inflation. You know the story, COVID, supply chains, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Of course, it was, um, that is inflation, that high because we printed during this downturn trillions of dollars to battle the COVID-19 event and to thwart a potential disaster. Well, we stopped one and kind of created another, throwing the unforeseen Russian invasion of Ukraine, driving up fuel prices, and everything's become more expensive. Not good. The Fed's target for inflation is 2%. We're at 9.1%. Not so good. In response, the Federal Reserve has gone to war, raising the federal funds rate quicker than they ever have. The last two months, 75 basis points increases. Well, mortgage interest rates, because of inflation, responded February, March, April by rising from 3% where we started the year at historic lows up to 6% in just 60 days. That's why we have a slowdown pause, by the way, in the market. Here's the good news. I believe the Fed, barring unforeseen circumstances, is going to win the war on inflation. After all, there's an old adage that's proved true throughout our financial history in the financial markets, and that is that you cannot fight the Fed and win. The Fed always wins, and now they're at war to get inflation under control. 
Subsequently, rates will flatten, long-term interest rates and fall, and so will prices of homes as sellers are sitting on a record amount of equity that they've made in the last couple of years based on price increases. So they have room to negotiate. Sellers have room to negotiate and rates are starting to come back in. They peaked at six and they're down now into the mid low fives. I believe we just might return to a really happy state after three years of unprecedented events, maybe even normal. Stay tuned. Normal's coming, but we may indeed see some more unprecedented events unfold before normalcy in housing actually returns. But I expect we're gonna see it sooner than later. This is News You Can Use.